Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. Today I'm gonna be doing a sewing video and I'm gonna be updating a few pieces of clothing. I'm gonna be sewing together um, three shirts and three different skirts. So basically making a dress out of a particular top and skirt. This is one of the ones I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna cut the top pretty much about here and then I'm just gonna sew the corresponding skirt to the bottom of the shirt and make it into a dress. These are pieces that I either purchased specifically to do this or things that I've had in my wardrobe that I do not wear whatsoever. I just wanna give things a new fresh look. And if you are interested in seeing what these pieces look like now and what they transition into, then I hope you keep watching. All right, so as I mentioned, this is the first shirt that I'm gonna be working with. I am wearing the skirt that it's gonna go with. I've shown this skirt in previous videos, I think, and I've worn it probably twice. So I just got the shirt because I was looking for like graphic tees at the Goodwill, and I found this one. This isn't really what I was looking for necessarily. I wanted kind of like words and different you know unique things on it this is close enough so i'm like well i'll take that so like i said i'm gonna adjust it but i'll step back so you can see what each outfit looks like beforehand and then i will show you the after i might show you some of the footage of the piece getting connected but either way it'll be a nice little transformation to see how they look once they're sewn together So just to give a quick little close up, this is the shirt and it's just a cotton material. The skirt is this shiny material here. It has like the shiny pieces and then the gray. And it's very loose and flowy and it kind of has a pleated aspect so there's some folds in it. It doesn't stay pleated but it does have pleats ironed in. Right next, I have this lizard or iguana shirt. I got this also from the Goodwill specifically for this. I wanted to match it up with um, a skirt. I had another skirt in mind and not, it ended up not working out with that one, but I am gonna use this other one that I found in my closet that I never wear. And um, I wanted something interesting, so I got these lizards. It says Puerto Vallarta, Mexico on it. So this is what it's looking like. Of course, it's gonna get cut, so I don't know how much of their tails will actually be part of the dress, but it is gonna be cut around this area here, maybe under the branch. I don't know exactly where, but I will just make up something. The lizards are on the front and the back. And then I'll just show you the skirt that I'm gonna be using. This is the shirt a little closer up. And then this is the skirt. It has this meshy type of layer first, which is rather see-through. And then as you can see, it has like this leopard pattern on it. And then it has another layer right here. And then it has this elastic band waist, which is gonna be cut off or modified significantly. And that's it. And the next thing I have is this cropped sweater. This is like a light tan color. Um, it's fine as is. I just wanna try something. I'm not gonna modify this. I'm not gonna cut it in any way. So I could still take these two pieces apart and use the sweater as a sweater later on. But because it's cropped, it is limiting for how I would wear it. So I figured it would be fine to just bring the skirt up and sew the pieces together and make it into a dress. The skirt has pockets, it has some pleats in it that I might try to keep. These two pieces I did already have. I tend to wear this, you know, every so often over things, of course. And then this skirt I've worn probably one time, 
but I just thought it was cute. It's just like one of those old fashioned type skirts, like a mature ladies look. But, um, and I do like it, but I did want to just change it around since I did only wear it once and it's been hanging in my closet for a really long time. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like and then we'll see what everything looks like modified next. close up just a basic sweater and as you see it's cropped and then this is the skirt has some flowers on it definitely matches with the tan and then here's the band the waistband has the pleats as that I mentioned we'll see how much of those I can maintain but it's just a regular cotton material This one I have it pinned like this I wanted to take advantage of some of the pleats but I was not about to pleat all of these going all the way around so I just counted every five pleats and then I folded it and then I just did that all the way around hopefully that gives it some kind of an effect but I'm just gonna sew everything together this is how much of the skirt is left over because once I cut the waistband off there's a lot of extra material so Maybe I'll do something else with that, but I'm going to go around here and then I'm going to attach this going down and close it up. For this one, I'm just doing a, a top stitch along the seam that's already in the sweater and then I'm doing another one at the bottom. The pieces are done and I have to tell you that these are not for everyone but if you've been on my channel for a while or if you know me I love unusual things I love strange things and strange people odd unusual quirky weird whatever you want to call it that's my thing so um, these I would wear all three of them I would wear this first one is probably the most out of the box one but yeah it's comfortable and I like it so the first two did cause me a little bit of an issue I had a little um, problem with the sewing of both of them but I'll and I'll explain really quick so this one this is how it's looking and I cut off probably too much from the bottom so therefore it falls in a weird way but again I do like that it ended up being something that I could appreciate so this is what it looks like right here and then I'll step back of course but then I also messed up on the seam I had to rip it apart and I was cutting cutting it was looking like the thread was gonna just rip nice and easy so I just started to pull it instead of cut it to snip and then I ended up cutting part of the shirt so I had to sew a little something right here to sew this shirt back together plus it's already short but and it's not completely even but I have to tell you that everything about about this I do like and I think that's one of the great qualities of making your own stuff because it's your thing and there's nothing else like it and it can be whatever it wants to be it's like art on your body you're wearing your art piece and um, that's how I look at anything that I create so again I'm gonna show you all three of these and you can form your own opinions leave me any comments below if you like to want to share I do appreciate and welcome all criticism and all comments um, no problems with me if you don't like something if you want to let me know that's fine too so without any more talking I did well want to just tell you that I folded up 
the sleeves a couple of times and I'm just wearing it with um, I'm gonna probably try it with two different shoes a sandal and then a, a dark brown heel and but of course these weird combinations can be mixed and matched with just about anything so this is the first one One more thing I want to mention, this skirt, as I showed earlier, it had another lining on the inside, but when I sewed it together, I took that lining out, so I just put a slip underneath because as I showed, it is very sheer and very see-through. So I'm just wearing a full slip and that's covering everything. sun is beaming in but we're on to the next one I wanted to explain the little issue that I had with this one so when I was sewing this here is the bottom when I cut the band of the skirt off there was so much extra material I had to make a new seam I thought I was making the seam in the back and I actually ended up making the seam right in the front so this is the back of the shirt I just turned it around this is the real front of the shirt I cut the neck low and now this is the front of the shirt but I didn't really want to do that it was a mistake but um just something that that comes up sometimes when you're working on stuff it doesn't come out how it's supposed to I just go with the flow so that's what I tried to do and this is what it looks like And now I'm gonna share with you the last one. Okay, so here's the last dress. And this one kind of went according to plan. I just sewed the sweater directly on the skirt. I did end up cutting the band off. So when I originally sewed it, I just sewed it straight onto the skirt, but it had an elastic in the back and it had a straight band in the front and I sewed right underneath the band. So I went back inside and cut the band out. And now it fits a lot better and I like it. So this is it. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Again, leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.